From a terrifying sea monster to the mysterious bones of a shipwreck, here are 10 of the craziest things found on the beach. Number 10. Alien Sea Blob A horrifying sea blob that looks like an alien brain is washed up on a beach in South Carolina. The strange jelly-like creature was discovered on Folly Beach by a guy named Alexander who had just been trying to take a leisurely stroll without running into any monsters. The creature was about the size of a brain, it was an odd pink color, and Alexander snapped a picture of it to upload online, beseeching the world for answers. Some said it looked like it could be a shark brain, others said it was a massive blob of chewing gum, and others even thought it was a severed body part. Whatever the case, this thing definitely looked creepy. But it was later that someone finally identified the strange blob as being something a little less exciting. It's apparently called a sea pork, which is part of a family of sea creatures known as tunicates. These are rubbery organisms often found in the waters of South Carolina. They filter seawater to slurp in nutrients. They can be found in a variety of colors from pink to red and green to black. The weird blob isn't nearly as interesting as an alien brain, but it was a pretty fascinating discovery nonetheless. Number 9. Caveman Footprints Scientists in France recently found hundreds of fossilized footprints on the beach. The footprints were left in the sand by a roaming group of Neanderthals 80,000 years ago. The fossils were actually found at Normandy, the famous beaches from World War II. Excavations from between 2012 and 2017 revealed at least 257 fossilized footprints belonging to about 40 Neanderthal individuals. Most of the individuals were adolescents and children. The prints had initially been left in muddy soil before being covered by sand. This mixture created an amazing preservation, allowing researchers to clearly see the footprints all these years later. Researchers working on the project have referred to the footprints as being from a single life moment of a prehistoric group. Some would even say the footprints are more exciting than finding leftover tools or bones. After all, scientists have already found millions of artifacts from Neanderthals. It's not every day we get a glimpse of our own Neanderthal ancestors taking a family stroll along a beach. Number 8. Rocket Debris the next time you go to a beach, you better look up, because you could just get hit in the head with a rocket part. Didn't expect that, did ya? People in Brevard County were recently warned to look out for potential rocket debris on the beach. When the Falcon 9 rocket exploded in 2012 during a SpaceX launch test, the rocket broke into fragments and then fell into the ocean roughly 20 miles from the shore. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said there wouldn't be any large enough pieces of rocket to do damage, but nonetheless, Brevard County sent out the alert. They're also not coming to collect their space garbage either. People were warned of possible debris from the rocket getting washed up on the beach and stuck in the sand. And believe me, the last thing you want is a sharp piece of rocket metal stabbing you in the foot while trying to skip rocks. Even though nothing was immediately found, there have been plenty of cases of rocket debris getting washed up on the beach, like the huge piece of the Falcon 9 rocket that was washed up on the beach in England back in 2015, months after the failed launch. As more and more rockets go into the sky, more and more pieces of shrapnel will probably be littering our beaches. So watch out for rocket fuel and sharp metal. Number 7. Mysterious Sea Beast During the coronavirus lockdown, Leah Dennison was doing her daily exercise by taking a jog along Brighton Beach. Everything was normal until she found a mysterious sea beast washed up on the shore. The animal appeared to be mostly skeleton, with its weird teeth and slimy tail still intact. The creature had pink and gray coloring, jet black eyes, and curious lumps on its bodies that looked like tumors. It was unlike anything Leah had ever seen before. There were protrusions almost like teeth sticking out from all over the thing's body. Not knowing what to do, Leah took a photo and uploaded it online, trying to get some answers. The best answer Leah got was that the creature might be a thornback ray, a kind of ray that can primarily be found around the British Isles. It's a near-threatened animal and almost only seen between December and January. But whatever Leah found must have been a baby, since these things can grow to be four feet wide at maximum. They usually hide in the sand and hunt crabs, crushing them to death with their powerful jaws. Even though the corpse of the ray looked like a horrifying monster, it was really just an ugly ray. Have you ever spotted a weird creature on the beach? There are so many strange animals out there, so let me know in the comments down below. Number 6. Nazi Bunkers Researchers recently found secret Nazi bunkers from World War II on the beaches where the deadly D-Day battle was fought. These secret Nazi bunkers were used against the Allied forces during their landing at Normandy in World War II. According to Josh Gates, executive producer of a documentary following the discovery of the bunkers, they were not seen by human eyes in over 75 years. They were literally lost to time as well as frozen in time. After digging through the dirt and sand and finding the entrance doors, researchers discovered artifacts left over from the war. The bunkers were actually quite large, the rooms underground were huge, and they found evidence that a fire had raged inside of the place long ago, and they pulled out old Nazi gas masks, helmets, and ammunition. The bunkers had been part of the Maisie Battery, near Omaha Beach. 
When operational, it had 14 giant guns, including several 150mm howitzers that were used to pound American and British troops on D-Day. After the war, the bunkers were lost under the sand and dirt and forgotten until now. Number 5. Beach Bones In a shocking discovery, a casket holding the skeletal remains of a human being was found on a beach in Scotland. The remains have since been examined by archaeologist Bruce Mann and his colleagues. It's believed the burial dates back to the 17th century and may have been for the victim of a shipwreck who was buried close to where the ship arrived on shore. No other burials have been found in the area, no evidence suggesting a settlement, and no other logical reason for why this guy was buried on a beach. But wait, because things get even more shocking. It wasn't a guy at all. The person buried was actually a female. Nobody has any idea who this woman was or why she would have been stuffed into a casket and then buried under the sand. She still could have been from a shipwreck, though it was unusual in the 17th century to have lady sailors. Even more horrifying is that she could have been the victim of a murder, buried at the beach to get rid of all the evidence. What do you think happened? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have tons of discoveries and mysterious stories coming soon. Number 4. A Giant Sunfish an extremely rare giant sunfish was discovered washed up on a California beach and eyewitnesses were shocked at just how huge this monstrosity of the ocean was. The sunfish was 7 feet long, and believe it or not, that's actually quite large. The maximum a sunfish grows is normally 8 feet in length, from the top fin to the bottom fin. But what shocked biologists was not the size of the sunfish, but its type. At first, researchers thought it was just a common mola mola sunfish. These are not extraordinarily rare and can be found all around California. It was upon closer inspection that researchers realized they were dealing with a hoodwinker sunfish, something that lives only in the southern hemisphere. Previous to this discovery, the only other hoodwinker sunfish that was found outside the southern hemisphere was in 1889 in the Netherlands. Nobody has any idea how the fish ended up so far from home, especially since it was clearly a fully grown adult. The best theory is that it perhaps got lost and swam all the way from Australia to the west coast of North America. Number 3. Ancient Shipwreck on a Florida beach, locals were shocked to discover the bones of a 19th century shipwreck. The wreckage was uncovered on Florida's Crescent Beach, with archaeologist Chuck Mead arriving on the scene to investigate. He claims that the vessel was probably a merchant ship moving goods along the coast when it sank unexpectedly. The wreckage then got pushed onto the beach by a brutal storm. Because this happened so long ago, there probably weren't many beachgoers in the area. Nobody noticed the shipwreck, and it gradually became buried under the sand. It stayed like that probably for over a hundred years. It wasn't until the sand began to erode from the Crescent Beach that the shipwreck was exposed. As of now, the wreckage hasn't been named. Nobody knows what boat it was or which company it belonged to. All we know is that it's old and in pretty rough shape. No artifacts have yet to be found, only pieces of the ship's framework. Number 2. The Altamaha. Scientists have been puzzling over a strange sea monster that was found on a beach in Georgia. The monster at first appeared to be a miniature Loch Ness monster. People online were quick to compare the carcass to the legendary Scottish lake beast, saying it looked like a baby sea monster. The creature was discovered at Wolf Island National Wildlife Refuge, and unfortunately, the body of the creature was never recovered by scientists. It probably got swept out to sea, leaving the global community scratching their heads and not knowing how to properly identify what appeared to be the baby of a prehistoric sea serpent. Some say it could have been a baby basking shark. Others believe it to be the Altamaha a legendary serpent that lives in the streams and rivers of southeastern Georgia. Number 1. Crashed Aircraft In 2020, a crashed fighter plane from World War II was discovered by a British couple while wandering along the beach. The aircraft was confirmed to be a Bristol Bowfighter TFX by the Royal Air Force in England. Using its serial number, they were able to determine that the aircraft came from the 254 Squadron RAF. It crashed on April 21, 1944, after taking off from Lincolnshire and having both of its engines fail. The crew escaped uninjured, and the plane was left on the beach. Nobody expected that it would still be sitting there in shockingly good condition over 75 years later. The couple who found the plane while walking their dog were definitely the most surprised out of everyone. It's crazy to think that underneath the sand so many of us walk along at our local beaches, there are crashed aircrafts, fossilized footprints, and horrifying monsters scientists can't even identify. What's the craziest thing you've ever found on the beach? Let me know in the comments down below and thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more amazing videos right here on American Eye.